Hi, my name is Jason Warner I'm from Pacific Wastewater Optimization, and I wanted to talk to you about our grit sampling and characterization study services. A lot of what we do is working in primary and secondary clarifiers, looking to study them and optimize them to improve solids capture. But we also offer grit sampling services and then also characterization services in support of consultants working on new designs. The typical needs that uh, consulting engineers have is they want to understand what the existing grit removal efficiencies are. Generally, what gets measured gets done, or, or what, what gets measured can get managed. Many people don't know what their existing units are doing. If we're going to go into a design, what design overflow rate should be used for a desired capture? So whether you want to hit a 95, 90, or even 80% in, in some kind of peak scenario, what overflow rate should be used based on the site-specific settling characteristics? For some consultants, they want sand equivalent sizing. What we do is relay the settling velocity of the particles that we, we find at the plant and then relay them to a sand equivalent and that way all the vendors can speak the same language about what's going on with with the grit and then lastly just what's the quantity so on a pounds per mg basis we have high loading rates or low loading rates it's another important design factor we use two different approaches there's probably a, a more traditional approach which is a wet, wet sieve analysis and then we take the different after we separate the grit by size we put it into a still column and measure the time it takes to settle a certain specific distance, therefore getting velocity. We present the various buckets of settling velocity using that methodology. Uh, the second is a, is a newer method, um, first documented in, in, a, in a paper in 2017 by Dr. Gerges, and basically this is an upflow uh, column methodology, and there we run a, a known velocity, one, two, three, four, five, and six feet per minute. We introduce the sample in and then measure the fraction of, of, um, of the sample that settles through that upflow column, and that gives us the fraction that uh, has a velocity that exceeds each of those known velocities. The benefit of the upflow column is that we get to test it in nearly the same condition that, that we actually collect the sample, and so it's, you can make an argument that's a very realistic test. Uh, the wet sieve analysis also uh, is, is a very solid test. Uh, we have done uh, studies where we present both data and, and the, the consultants can make the decision. The punchline of the reports is the site-specific sizing versus removal efficiency. This both gives the designer the ability to say, okay, for, for a specific site, I want to have this removal efficiency, whether it's 95, 90, or in, in a peak flow conditions, 80% removal. But this is the overflow rate that I'm going to need to design my grit removal for. Uh, that's probably the most helpful uh, thing that we can do through these studies. Lastly, I would just uh, invite you, um, if, if you'd like to partner, if you'd like to, if you're starting the design of a new uh, grit removal project, you want to have site-specific data for the grit, uh, I'd be happy to schedule time to talk. Again, my name is Jason Warner. My email is jwarner at pacific-optimization.com. Look forward to talking. Thanks. Bye now.